said, oh, yeah, he can look, he can see, but I can't really see it, you know. So, so I said, well, since she's there, I just reach my hand, and hopefully she can touch me. I want to be physical touch. I don't want she just like push me into that. No, I want to get a physical touch. But I was asking, please touch me. I'm begging her. That doesn't seem like she want to do that with me. You know? Well, and but the, since I stand over the energy, it's like, you know, keep coming up on you know, my body, and I feel like my blood start boiling. You know, I just feel like I started doing a very strong feeling, and my my whole body started, you know, just started. I don't know how to explain to you. I just feel, I said maybe it's like shaking, you know? I start doing that for a while, and, and I suddenly, I, I hear that the people walking, the, the breaking, the twigs, so the crack, 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 and, and the stomp <coughs> walking around. And so, like, two different people, and the pretty soon, like, three or four surrounded me, left and right, and going the back. I was thinking, is anybody else coming back from the back? You guys sitting over there? Maybe somebody coming from there. Then I start thinking, well, that doesn't sound like it, but how come? Surrounding me have all the sound, you know? Getting louder and louder. And then I start thinking, hey, I'm not scared. Well, I don't know. They're so close with me, you know? And my body was still sticking like this, you know? So I was thinking. And then and pretty soon I feel like I get closer. And I was like, hey, I said, hey you guys are beautiful. I love you guys, you know? And I turn around, and suddenly I hear, boom. Oh, yo, that was it. He got me. I, it shocked me. I scared me. Hey, wait a minute. You know, I said, why do that? Feel like they're playing game with me, you know? They start talking to each other. It's not very near that. But I don't know what they talk about, you know? And later on, and it's further they back again, you know, and then later on, for a while, my body is still doing there, you know? So, and the second time, I hear the, I hear the sound from the back. And that's which people laughing at me you know I thought, I, I thought they laughed maybe you guys are laughing at me I don't know maybe like you guys can see it I feel like they start to go <coughs> to me like this and they don't want to go away they come back home from me in the middle I think they probably check me out see who I am or what happened I don't really know but it was you know and the, that's the feeling I get you know so I just say you guys close on me sound like they're playing the dancing going out and coming back you know turn around making a sound I said next time if I have a chance of doing that, I'm going to do the poop to them, you know. <laughs> and I'm going to sing the American, I mean, Indian sound, you know, the music, and I'm going to sing to them, see what's going to be happening. But that's why I decided, you know, that's for me and today. So I like it. <laughs> Gradually go back. <laughs> Thank you. But that was a fantastic experience, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. I'm Cheryl. Uh, I'm from Longview, Washington. Um, I've had not only a wonderful weekend, this has been a life-changing spring and summer. I've been a repeat offender <laughs> and uh, for Cindy, Cynthia and Matt, and it's been a wonderful time. Um, as far as, if I can reference, in July, I was healed with my leg uh, by Zorth and another, another one at my cot. And I was so energized in July, I went back home. And um, because I've collected butterflies all my life, I got home and I was unpacking my truck and this beautiful tiger swallowtail butterfly went right over my head and into the woods. And I have not seen one all year. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe coincidence or not. Um, I got here this weekend uh, just arrived, put up my cot with Amy and, and uh, Regina, and Regina was telling me a story, and we were walking away, and something caught my eye, and um, there was a yellow tiger swallowtail right over my our cots, and I took that as a sign of uh, welcome. We know you're here, <laughs> and that was very individual to me, so I uh, that's how I took that. Uh, everything else uh, this weekend, I was able to go stand in front of Kantu and Saria uh, Saturday night. Uh, got a warm Janu hug, which I loved. I got that back in July and I wanted another one. And got to the wood pile to say thank you to Zorth for my healing in July. Had a wonderful heartfelt experience. Sunday night, last night, uh, I wanted my last Janu hug for the year that I was going to be here. 
And I went up and uh, I guess Sharia had uh, put her arms around me from what Matt said. And I really felt the energy more so than I had uh, any of the other hugs. And when I was feeling this, my heart started racing. I wasn't scared. I wasn't upset. I wasn't excited. I, was, I went there very calm and, and loving. And all of a sudden, my waist, my arms, my head just started vibrating. And I was getting so warm. And Matt said, do you see that energy? I, was, I heard him you saying that in the back. And uh, I said my piece. I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to my seat now. I turned around, and I was just... I just was like so excited to be so energized and I just felt like that was my my last hug being here and I wanted to thank thank them very much I had a wonderful time everyone has been so wonderful um, this has been a life-changing year and I would love to come back next year thank you that is an awesome story and we're glad to have you here as a repeat offender thank you. Yes. <laughs> Stu. Hey, Stu from Edgewood, Washington. Stu. And I hate to say it, but uh, I'm a repeat offender too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, I'm going to back up all the way to Saturday when I came in. Um, very quickly, uh, driving along, all of a sudden I see a branch waving at me. I'm looking around and there's no <coughs> other branches moving anywhere. My attention was immediately drawn off to the side to that specific branch for some reason. Thought that was rather uh, interesting. So Saturday, we're down at the wetland and we're talking to them. And all of a sudden we hear a lot of activity on the ground, not necessarily footsteps or anything, but we just hear the grass moving and all of a sudden we see eyes popping up over the edge of the grass out of the wetland in all different areas. There was so numerous, I can't count them all. Uh, red, white uh, specks uh, moving around. Uh, the feeling was uh, phenomenal. Um, you knew they were there to see you um, because you got that feeling, distinct feeling. So. That night, we heard the uh, uh, coyotes. I heard one very far in the distance to the right, very far in the distance to the left, and then all of a sudden there was not the coyotes <laughs> in a big group, just like right at the edge of the wetland, going off. And we all kind of commented and looked around and said, eh, those aren't really coyotes. That's, that's somebody else talking to us. So, that night was very restful. As soon as I get here, it's always comfortable. Very comfortable. Very relaxing. Very, it's almost soothing to be here in this area. The energy here is, is, is uh, something else. So, went to bed and just immediately went to sleep. Um, woke up, fully rested. Uh, did get woken up in the middle of the night by the coyotes again, and it wasn't the coyotes. And um, came in the next day, was listening to the testimonies, and I was standing upstairs not wanting to testify. And then I hear this kind of a growl, but kind of a gruff little noise coming out of the bedroom behind me. I'm like, hmm, who's in there? So I walk into the bedroom and look around. There's nobody in there. I come back out and I stand there and I listen to a few more testimonials and it happens again. I'm like, all right, <laughs> somebody's saying hi. <laughs> so last night, uh, I managed to get to the uh, wood pile, have a conversation with uh, Zor, Todd too, Samira, and I think also Enrif for starting this whole thing. Um, <coughs> that was a uh, highly yeah. Uh, 
highly emotional uh, conversation. Uh, then I returned to uh, uh, up over by Matt and Cynthia and uh, went down and talked to Kantu and the, the feeling of warmth and acceptance was huge. Oh, back at the wood pile, I put out my hands. They got warm and they started glittering on my fingertips. Little red glitters, white glitters. I could see stuff moving around and then I could see also at the same time glitters and lights moving around in the background. And uh, I could feel warmth around my legs around the bottom from my knees down because I had gone down during that day and read the, the little ones a couple of stories and I could hear them moving around. I couldn't see them, but I could hear them moving around in the brush around me. And I left them some uh, gifts. I left a little uh, glyph for my initial and six feathers in the ground and welcomed them to uh, come up and take whatever they wanted. And uh, so back to Kantu, I go, I, I talk to Kantu for a few minutes and I go back to Matt and Cynthia again to tell them what I experienced. And Cynthia pointed out that there were sparkles on me. I couldn't see it, but she said there were sparkles on me and I was, I was uh, vibrating at a high level for probably 30 minutes after that. Um, it was uh, extremely interesting to say the least, something that uh, you should uh, try to uh, experience for yourself. Thank you, Stu.